Your dad said he didn't want you working in that soup kitchen anymore. Look, Mum, if my dad can stop homeless people needing food, then fair dues, I'm quite happy to sit back and relax. He's concerned about you being taken advantage of, and so am I. I notice Sean's not that keen anymore. Yeah, because Sean's busy with people at college. Yeah, well, all we're saying is you shouldn't be spending so much time looking after people like that. People like what, Mum? Most of them are no different to you or my dad. Yeah, well, the people I've seen in doorways or begging outside shops are nothing like me, or even Kevin. Mum, there was once. It's very easy to become homeless. You'd be dead surprised what's happened to some of them. Oh, I'm sure they've all got their sob stories pretty polished. They take one look at you. Mum, just come and see for yourself. What about tonight after work? OK, I will. We'll get the best tablecloths and cutlery out for you. Oh, no, you don't have to on my account. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye. Mum, I didn't think you was going to end up coming. Hello, Mrs Webster. Come to give a hand. Uh, well, I've just come to see what you do. It's quite simple, really. Um, we try and give people something nutritious. As we rely on donations, both of uh, food and money, what we can manage varies from day to day. There you go, Jerry. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Mum. Jerry used to be the manager of a haulage company until he got made redundant and lost his flat. He fell through the cracks, is how he put it. Well, there must be more to it than that. Not much. Over 100 job applications. He's got qualifications, experience, but without an address, nobody wants to know. Which is why we're buying a house. You are? Well, the charity, Roof and Refuge. Oh. We're um, after a property that's being auctioned. Yeah, so they can have a home to get themselves back up on their feet. With a base, they have a much better chance of a job. Sounds really good. So, if you think of anything for fundraising, let us know. Yeah, but we do fun runs, that sort of thing. Oh, I know all about fun runs, thank you. No, <laughs> like um, sponsored waxing, like on blokes and stuff. The hairier, the better. And car washing. Mm, they have to wash an awful lot of cars to buy a house. Oh, well, we've already raised most of the money, but with auctions, a few hundred pounds extra might make all the difference. Mm, if I think of anything, I'll let you know. So don't think we're wasting our time, then? Well, whatever I think, they certainly don't. I went to see her. To an end. Told her for the past three hours, but hey, we survived. I was shopping. I know it was a laugh. I mean, you've got to sometimes, ain't you? It's all work and no play in here. You try to say I'm dull. No, you're the one who's having a go. I just wanted to doss this afternoon, and there's just too much to do. There's too much for either of us. I care about this place, right? But occasionally I need a break, and so do you. Hi, yeah. How was your shopping trip? I thought you'd be laden down. No, they don't give bags out to window shoppers. <sighs> Has Sophie told you the news? No. Um, the house in Garton's gone up for sale. That's brilliant. It could be. Trouble is, as things stand, you're not the only one window shopping. We haven't got the cash to make a serious bid. So, if you have any fundraising ideas... I've just been thinking, what about a charity auction? We could ask other local businesses to donate stuff and give them good publicity in return. So we wouldn't be asking something for nothing. That's not a bad idea. Your girlfriend's a lot more than a pretty face, you know that, don't you? Mm. Yes, I do. <laughs> Look. Yeah, I'll pass on the good news. OK, bye. Bye. Well? Rob thinks the charity auction's a great idea. Oh, brilliant! If we can pull it off in time. <laughs> we don't even have a venue there. Alright, well, what about the role of us? It's too low rent. We need to attract people with cash. <laughs> Well, listen, uh, I think we've got two, uh, two old geezers on uh, uh, Where are you going? Oh, uh, uh, Stadler and Wardrobes. Oi! Doing it. Um, excuse me. Yeah? I'm trying to raise money for um, our local homeless shelter. Yeah. And I'd love to help. I think I've made a big enough donation to you already, Miss. you want? No, I don't want your money. Well, we kind of do, but um, we're uh, doing an auction to try and raise funds for a shelter. When is it all come? Um, we haven't decided when or where. Um, we need a venue. <laughs> and you thought that my place might be... Uh... Perfect, yeah. Well, I'm not sure it's kind of... It's going to be good publicity for you. Yeah, we've got all the local businesses around and they'll all spend money in your bar. Yeah, movers and shakers, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> OK, fine. Look, come and see me tomorrow and we'll talk around it. Thank you. Yes! 